Hello. Before this episode starts, I should make note that this episode is partially subtitled because the original show's audio is balanced so poorly. The dialogue is really distant and muffled sounding, and then it's put on top of incredibly loud, crisp, and clear music. Uh, so I couldn't really make the dialogue any louder without having the music drown us out. Which is why, uh, at times there will be subtitles. However, the subtitles are probably not going to be particularly accurate because it's just so hard to tell what anybody is saying. So with that, let's look at this crap show called Blood Menagerie. Meanwhile, at summer camp... Well, that was pretty crazy, eh? Yeah, it was. Did you get some? Kind of. Yeah. Real name Cherry. So yeah, it's the post-apocalypse, yeah. I guess, but uh, yeah, I see you're Cherry? a fan of Pink Floyd. My fucking sister? Yeah, yeah. Fuck my sister! Fucking Cherry, my sister! Wait! What'd she look like? She had long, blonde hair. She was wearing a red top. You fucked my sister! No, I didn't! How dare you try to repopulate the sister. earth? No, I didn't! Fuck you! We didn't- no, I didn't. I'm gonna smile because it's fun to act. Do you just think anyone as awkward as me could ever get it on with a lady, fuck even you, your fuck slutty you. sister? Fuck you. Yeah, fuck you for fucking a sister. Only I fucked the sisters. Their shirts were too immaculate. Something was wrong. Hey, I was on the internet. I was just t studying how to be tactical with my guns. What the fuck happened? Me. Oh, my neck. I guess my neck wasn't tactical. So, uh, Ooh. we want to make this video series, and you're the only person we know with muscles. Would you be in it, please? Uh, yeah, so we think Nazis are pretty cool, too, so, uh, you know, just work that in. How do you feel about filters? We want the whole thing to look like Instagram in motion. Okay. Table. Please move us up. Now, where's Frederick? Uh, do you have any lights you can bring from home? No? That's okay. It's okay, we'll just do it in daylight. I mean, I don't like being in daylight, but... I'll sacrifice a lot for this series. Where's Frederick? What? Oh dear, I'm sure these are kind of phenomenal work. Are you a French-Russian Nazi? <laughs> Expecting our friend Frederick here, yeah? Needed to discuss a French Russian Nazi who cannot pronounce the letter R. Great. Can we get subtitles? Yeah, I can't. I don't understand a single word right now. We also really like Casino Royale. Yeah, we tried to get him to do that part where he like jumps through the little gap above. Hello! <laughs> Like booter. My favorite yeah. dessert. Oh. I fucking and love booter. Booter and all. Olga wouldn't appreciate it. And to be honest, all it would do was just waste a valuable torture time together. You know, suspenders work better if they suspend. Mm hmm Tighten that shit up. I was cast in this role because I meant I get to be in the TV where no one could smell me. I never did introduce you to my next, did I? The casting calls yeah, yeah, yeah. called for a, a, the most disgusting, greasy person alive. There was only one choice. When you put it together... My hair, the teeth. My teeth will not even appear on camera. I was hides him beneath the frame. I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> you may think this is torture, but this is a Friday night in my parts. No, no one has made anything funny here. Look, he's enjoying that. Hey, the French culture is the end of the war. Embarrassing. Again, longer, harder. Yeah, it sure is. Hey, hey, hey. I think everybody is in on this. Listen, could you somebody just <laughs> could could somebody just write me into a situation where I have to have my balls touched? 
I'm glad we've seen what O faces look like after the apocalypse. <laughs> that means. Oh yeah, little, it's about the same as when you touch a wiggling sword. It's one detail that most media leaves out. Hi, Dad. Uh, hey, Uncle. <laughs> I'm gonna get a beer. Are you still doing your stupid thing? All right, you're out of shape. How long do you have? I'm glad restaurants still exist after the end of the world too. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, to go. Whoa. I don't want to get involved with your friends anymore. My friends may be bad. This money problem, they can help you with. Son, why are you talking like an idiot? Just don't give up so early. Yeah, yeah, he's 25. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he is. My friends may be bad. Look, I'm just 20. I have a bit of an acne problem. Shut up. Uh, Everything hurts someone somewhere down the line. Yeah, Since like veterinarians, like, those assholes. Use it. Meet me in the lot Sunday morning. I'll have an old doubt. You don't have to show up if you don't want to. It's your life. Take that into account, my friend. I think, like, their director read that thing, like, every once in a while it's fun to do a silly take, and everyone does a funny voice, but then he forgot that you don't leave those in. Oh, whoops. Uh, so, yeah, we're making just a, f a fun series. Lots of laughs, lots of balls being electrocuted, uh, lots of post-apocalyptic living rooms that look pretty much the same. Oh, uh, hey, Mom. <laughs> so, wait, why is he here now? What's happening? <laughs> what the fuck? Go! <laughs> Funny how we have a nice house and no air conditioning, right? Man, everybody's just sneaking up on everybody with guns. <laughs> but to so what end? Uh, the balls. <laughs> For what purpose? The balls is the end. Kill him. I think the only thing that died in the end of the world was fashion sense. I'm not hearing this rustling at all. I am sure he is killing him, even though I have not heard the gunshot. No, no, be careful, be careful. I don't, I don't want to knock over all my books. I told this motherfucker to leave me alone. It took you long What, he was just dicking around the computer waiting for him to be shot? After the end of the world, we will still have regular garbage pickup. <laughs> Well, I mean, the world hasn't gone completely to shit. I mean... I mean, it's still paid taxes. The government's still intact. Um, you can get your hot dog in those little red baskets. Yeah. And assassin, you waltz into my house expecting to kill me and expect me not to go without a fight. You're crazy. No, I expected to find where you were in this room. I'm just, uh, make sure I get all the dog poop off before I You're walk in. I don't want to tread that in, you know. Garage, waiting to kill this you week, Blood Menagerie crosses over with hoarders. <laughs> Hesitation has killed you once today. Come on. Where is the menagerie of blood? I don't know. Does someone have, like, a whole gallery of blood samples? I don't know. This, this is the blood of a walrus. This is the blood <laughs> of a human child. Don't ask. So yeah, when I was directing this scene, I just kept thinking, what would it be like to shoot a gun in my own garage? And uh, so I did that. <laughs> I did it. They say that constraints are the key to uh, innovation, and mm -hmm. I believe that, so I tried to film in the place with the least amount of room to stand. We used the only angles possible. It was pretty low budget, but we, do, we did get a sponsorship from Duralast. Um, wasn't a lot, but it was it was nice. It, it paid, if it you paid... notice, the bloodstain doesn't quite follow him. It's as disoriented as the world. Uh. Well, he's doing this just like this is a daily routine. Shit, I'm dying. Well, gotta get the cigarette. Ah, well, better write my will. You can light a cigarette, you can still shoot a gun! Uh, well, no. They weren't trying to kill each other, they were playing gun tag. Mm. He lost. Mm. 
boy. How'd I feel, Chico? It was strange. Uh, I remember that feeling. <laughs> ah, yes, I am a grizzled man who has experienced much pain in his life. Just Who's this guy again? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Who's the other guy? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck's happening. Just in case we only do this one episode, I have to mention that this really is taking in the post- is post-apocalyptic. And in one episode, there- a uh, Candle Jack from Freakazoid appears and he's a huge badass and murders everyone. Also in the same episode, two girls just start making out for no reason. Yet we did this one? Oh yeah, I watched Grindhouse 2. Fuck you. They were fat. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can really go for some schmarties. No, with with the electric hand. Blow me with that. That was fun. It was fun. We both liked that. All three of us, actually. I think the guy on the TV liked it too. I, I mean. I like to watch! <laughs> they say that French wiped out the language center of your brain when they caught you. That's why your accent is bullshit! The end! <laughs> is this the end? This is the end. The end. What? Bye! <laughs>